another edition of Math Snacks with Miss Glovely and Miss Wonderful. How are you doing today, Miss Glovely? Really well. Awesome. Well, we're going to talk about equivalent representations again. Hey, I think I've heard this topic before. Well, we've worked on it for the K2, but now we're going to take the numbers a little bit bigger. Okay. But remember those base 10 blocks we were using? I do. Well, Get them out and get them ready, because nope. we're going to use them again. All right. Okay. <clears throat> First thing I'd like you to do, Miss Glovely, is show me the number. Using base 10 blocks, show me the number 230. What's that look like with those base 10 blocks? Hey, cool. I get to use the flats this time, because one flat has 10, 10 columns and 10 rows, so it's worth 100. Kind of like 10 times 10, huh? You bet. So I, I don't have to count each and every one of those blocks? Thank heavens. Oh. I don't have that much time. Okay. Uh, so two of them is going to make my 200. Okay. And then I need three rods because you wanted me to have 30. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to lay them out a little bit differently so okay. we can see them. <clears throat> can we still see them now? How about if we no, put them up here? you move them. I'll move them up. Okay. There's 230 right there. 230. Okay. If we were going to write this in... This is written in standard notation. Yes, it is. What if we're going to write it in expanded? Let's write what you did with the hundreds first. Okay. There would be two hundreds. Two hundreds. And? Plus how many tens? Three tens is makes 30. Two hundred plus 30. Right. So this is standard. I'm going to move your things here. Okay. That's okay with you? That's fine. Okay. Hey, we can kind of see them like that if you're just laid on top. 230, this is written in standard, and what did we say this one was? Expanded. Expanded. Okay. So today when I ask you to show me different numbers, we're going to ask you to write it both in standard and in expanded. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's try num another number. All right. I'll give you those back. Well, there she's flinging things again. I like to throw things. She does like to throw things. Okay. Can I throw these? No. I might huh? break something. Okay. <clears throat> Show me 242. Hey, sounds a lot like the last one. In standard, that's standard. That's standard. So if we're going to expand it out, there's the 200s. Okay. Here is the 40. Oh, almost see them all. And then you need <clears throat> two ones makes two. So it'd be 200 plus 40. Plus two. 200 plus 40 plus two. Three. Now, I was thinking, I was hesitating because I was thinking, you know what I've seen a lot of times in textbooks? They always seem to go like this. Here's your 200, here's your 40, and there's your two. You're right. But you know what? What I've seen them do, they try to mix this up on tests. Because sometimes they'll do like this. And they'll say, can you still see those okay? Yes. They might go like this and ask how many blocks are out there. So is it still 242? Yes, all you did was rearrange them. Okay. I could have written I could have written this as 2 plus 200 plus 40, and it would have been the same thing. Okay. So we can mix them all around. And, you bet. Okay. But sometimes they try to trick us by not making it look so nice and pretty Neat. and putting them together, you know. That's kind so, of a sneaky trick. Yeah, it is. But they do that a lot. I know. It's just like, my goodness. Okay. They're just trying to really check to see if you understand. They are. They're checking to see if you really understand. They're not changing. I wanted to throw them again. Ugh. Okay. Let's try another one. All righty. Last see one. See if you can stump me. Okay. Pick I'll, a bigger number. I'll pick a bigger number. Okay. What is this number? That number is 507. Okay. See if you can put 507. Yep. Notice I didn't say 500 and 7. And why that, didn't you say that, and? That drives me crazy if people say and in the middle of that number. Because and implies that there's a decimal point, And there is no decimal point between that 500 and that 7. So if the number... Oh, uh, that's a whole, that's that's a whole other topic. topic. Okay. We'll come back to that. Kind of got off on a but tangent no, there. no, do not... Say and. And down. No, boo. Don't say and when you read that number. 507. So there's 100. There's 200. There's 300. 
there's 400, and there's 500. Oh, now i got to find a place to put here. seven. You can put them eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oh, I said and. Oh, 507. <laughs> oh, got to practice what we preach, don't we? I yes, do that do. sometimes, too. I know, you slip. But I hear that on the radio all the time, and I always pick it up on other folks. So, okay, <clears throat> 507. Right. And how do we write that in expanded form? Well, I'm going to have to move something. Okay. Or you're not going to have uh, some place to write. So there, there would be 500 plus 7. We don't have any 10s this time. No 10s this time because there was a 0 for the placeholder. 0 for placeholder for 10. Okay. You ready? You try something different? Okay. okay. I like that. I, I did pretty well there. You did. And what we were using was this concrete... Anytime we're using manipulatives or anything that's concrete, right. we want to go to a pictorial representation. Okay. So, I've got some pictures here. Okay. And see if you can tell me from looking at this. I think I'm going to find some blue to go underneath it so okay. we can see them Because they're kind of white on white. White on white is kind of hard to see, isn't it? It is. Okay. So, how do you see a relationship between... The manipulative. And the picture? And the picture. Well, this looks like the flat. This okay. picture looks like the flat. So, we're so that must be a 100. This is a 100. Okay. And this picture looks like the rod, so that must be a 10. Okay. So every time we see this, we're going to know that's the same as that 10 rod. And this looks like the unit cube, so each one of those would be worth one. Okay. So this is one, that's one, that's one, so on. Yes. Okay. Okay. I just got them all put okay, together. Okay, we've, we've got a picture now. Okay, so this is pictorial representation. Okay. And I'm going to actually write that up here. Because this is what they what we often see on those silly assessments. Remember we talked about how they try to trick us? Uh-huh. Yeah, pictorially that's what we're going to see. So we're going to work with some pictorial representation. All right. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is put some pictures up here. And I'm going to ask you to tell me what value, what, how much is this that I'm putting? Instead of me giving you a number, I'm going to give you a picture. All right. Okay. And I want you to think about what is this number. I'm working on it. All right. It's taking me a little while. All right. That's my, that's, okay. that's my picture. Okay. This is like, and I'm going to... Well, you're going to try to stump me. I'm going to try to stump you. I know you. how you are. Because okay. if I thought I started here, I wouldn't be in the I wouldn't be in the hundreds place. So this this is a hundred. Okay. So I'm going to actually rearrange because okay. that might make it easier for me. And this is the tens place, and this would be the ones. So I have 123. Okay. 123. I'm going to write it up here. Okay. And how do we write that in expanded form? 100. <clears throat> Plus 20, plus 3. Okay. Now, I'm going to put another number over here. Oh, there's my equal sign. I, uh, I know what that means. It means the same as. The same as. That same well, that's as easy. is going to keep coming back. I just put one flat and two tens and three and you ones, have and I same. have the same as. You have the same as. But I'm not going to make it that easy. Oh, okay. I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult. All right. Okay. And I'm going to put a representation. You're going to have to wait till I get finished with it. Oh. But I, my question's going to be, is it the same as 123? All right. Okay, here we go. Give me time, though. You know, I'm not the most patient. This is, this is a hard skill for me, waiting. It's good for you. Okay. That's what somebody else says a lot, too. We should have music. We should have music playing. I can sing a Christmas song. Oh, probably not. Not Christmas. Well, okay. Here we go. I want to know either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Is that equal to a hundred twenty-three? Well, I'm going to check. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's the same as the flat. There's two more. That would be the same as the tens. And you have three, which is the same as the one. I think it is exactly the same as 123. So thumbs up on that one? Okay, thumbs up. Okay. 
So, let's try another one. Okay. Okay. She's still trying to stump me. I am. I'm going to stump you. It's your lot in life to try to stump Miss Glovely. I... But Miss Glovely isn't going to be stumped. She's just too smart for her own britches, I think. Well, we'll see. Okay. Here's the next problem. If I lay them like that, you know. I, I know them. they're stacked. Okay. okay. I know they're the same thing. I like this game. You do like this game. Huh? I do like this game. Okay. Because you know I like to stump Miss Wonderful, too. I know you do. Okay. I want you to think about, you got to think about what this number is, and then my question is, is it equal to... I want to do this. You picked a big number. I did, didn't I? I have a feeling this could take a while. Oh, it won't take too long. Okay. I'm pretty fast. Okay. Well, I can be figuring while you're figuring. Yes, you could. This is 100, do, do, 200, do, do, do. 300. I'm off the page. 300. This is 334 on this side. How'd you figure that out? One, two, three hundreds, ten, twenty, thirty, and one, two, three, four. Three hundred thirty-four. Three hundred. Oh, you still are off the page. Three hundred plus thirty plus four. That's it. And the question is, is it the same as this side? So there's three hundred again. Okay, I'm gonna write three hundred down. But this time you only put twenty tens mm. there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, plus fourteen ones. And I know that in this, oops, took it off the page. In this, there were ten, which would have really made this thirty. So I know that it adds up to be the exact same number. You are really, really good. Okay, one more. One Last more. Last one. Last one. Last one. <clears throat> you just... This would be a nice Christmas present for you if, if you would snump me. Right? It would be. I it would, would be, have to buy you anything else? It would be a great Christmas present if I could actually stump you. Uh, I okay. Might, I might see if you can do that. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I want to know if this side, that equivalent representation, that's what we're doing is finding an equivalent representation, does this side equal... Do 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 You know you're gonna have to pay Jeopardy for your uh, use of their song. Do 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 do. Hmm. You think? Well, I hope not. Cause <laughs> we don't have any money. <laughs> no, we don't. But <laughs> want... okay, I want to know: true or false? Are those equal? Well, this one is 100, 10, 20, 120, 1, 2, 3, 4, 124. Okay, I'm gonna write 100 plus 20. Plus four, and you said that was equal to 124? Bingo. Okay. And this one is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 73. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. 70 plus three. 70 plus three, <coughs> and they're not equal. No. Okay. But you said it was a total of 73? I did. So I'm going to ask you to think about this. This equaled 73. Yes, it did. I want to know, what do you need to add to this side Ooh. so you make your equation what? 124 equal to 73 plus Miss, what? I'm really excited because that's like algebra. Okay. There's a missing thing. There is a missing okay. thing. Okay, well, I'm going to have to add some more rods and some more unit cubes maybe. Okay. Okay, so. Let's put what we have up here. Okay, Let's put do them together. That. Let's get the 173 so you can still see the 173. Okay, there's 73. There's 73. Sorry, not 173. There's 73. I need, <clears throat> to get to 124, I need another 1. Can you put another 1 on this Why side? Why are you doing a 1? Because. Now you're at what? I am at 74. Okay, just a minute. I'm going to write that down. Here's, my, here's my new piece. Okay. This is your, we'll just do this. Okay. Okay. This was 73. Yes. You added this 1, and now you're at 74. Right. Now what? Now if I add... Some more tens. Okay. That's this, 84. That makes 84. I'm going to write right on here. That makes 84. Put another one on. That's going to make 94. It's 
kind of like counting back change. Mm -hmm. Put on another one. We've done one of those too, haven't yes, we? Yes, 104. If you haven't watched our, our counting back change math snack, join us for that one. Okay, put another one on. And you're at what? I'm at 114. And are you done? Nope. One more. One more. 124. So, we it added, takes 124 to put No, up. no. We added 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1. So I put 51, 51 here. Yes. And now that makes it true? Yes. Because if you count everything on this side, it's going to add up to 124. I'll bet you. Thumbs up if you agree with Miss Glovely. Come on. Everybody join me because you know I'm right. Oh, I still couldn't stump her. I have to buy her a Christmas present now. Oh, no. I really like jewelry, so <laughs> jewelry is a good way to go with me. Okay. Well, thank you for helping with equivalent representations. We'll see you later. If you're interested in more information about math snacks, or you'd like to bring Miss Glovely or Miss Wonderful to your classroom, Call Miss Glovely, Renee Smith, at 620-663-9566.